Hi guys, it's Rachel here and I'm doing a very late video. Um, I didn't, I've got this one just stitched down, but I didn't get um, any embroidery done. I've done a photocopy of it, so that way I can, I'll do some markings on there um, and just decide what stitching I want to do. That's for the other one, but I thought we can still, I can still come along and do a video and we'll have a look at um, what I'm going to do with this one in the sense I wanted to tie in my pages in this similar way to what Sharon Hurst did in one of her more recent flip throughs I can't remember when it was so I'm going to use my cropper dial and I'm going to punch in two holes let's just poke that out get that out so I can see and I don't want to go down too low I'm going to put two eyelets in so how is everyone today I hope you're well really had fun with my um, medieval mirage Monday yesterday so um, I'll be looking forward to doing that again next week Okay, so there's the holes. Oh, look, it went through the French knot. And I'm going to put my eyelets in. I could go, or oh, I might go down the yellow road. Let's go down the yellow road. Because I think it goes well with the colours. So put that one in there. Give it a nice squeeze. Now I'm just thinking, what am I doing? Do I need two or one? Because I don't know if I want, I was going to, I'm not going to use the green cord, I don't think. Let's see, I don't think the green cord goes. I actually have a mustard yellow one. Maybe I'll go and get that. I'll go and get the mustard yellow one. Because then I could just, and I will need to snip these at an angle like that. I'll just snip those just so they don't rip see like this has to be within the circles the holes so I could use I can't remember where I put things I could use this string to tie it in but I want to just I'm just going to put you on pause I'm going to go and get my mustard yellow maybe too cord. chunky um this is I get this at my wholesalers so I could choose to tie it I like that I could choose to tie it on the inside I might choose to tie it on the on the outside I think or you know what else we could do guys is document binding but what I wanted was something that could be undone so that I can't find the center I wanted something that could be undone so um, so that the the pages could be replaced so let's see what happens if I go like this. I need to pull it long enough to tie. I'm thinking that it would be better to tie it externally because um, then you won't have the bulk of the bow. a little bit further up there so I'm just going to pull it not in the center and I literally am going to tie a bow let's see what happens yeah that's great so that's in 
and you could tie your bow down there wherever you like that's all I might just put a little bit more glue under there which is dropped on the floor it's dry it's a dry wet one okay and I need to do something there and then we can do a little bit inside and the other thing I would like to do is snip the corners Okay, now I think we're going to decorate this, but let's just deal with this bit here first. I don't want to cover that, but I will cover this. Oh, I know what I might use. Oops, excuse me. One of these, if I have any. I want some long ones, something long. I've got them up here somewhere. They're all narrow ones. Oh, he's a nice one. I don't, I don't want the gentleman though. Can I, I can't cut him off. I get his face. Am I awful that I don't want the gentleman? Um, because these are very thin. So otherwise I have to cut this one, but I don't, I don't, um, well, I could cut it that way, but I don't know if it will fit in my cutter. Oh, yes, it will. Good. So I'm just going to cut it there. This is an old letter printed on, um, well, it's the back of a letter or book page, I can't remember which, printed on the A4 large um, full label sheet. Okay. And it does look a little bit like... Um, old sticky tape so I don't I don't haven't shared the brand because I feel like that's a re relevant like if in you in the States you can get Avery and it says matte on it um, so that's why I haven't bothered sharing mine because I would have bought Avery if I could but I can't buy it, so that's why I haven't shared, um, purchased it. I might put a little little piece of washi tape there. And Sharon, I thought it was a very clever idea. She tied hers inside, but this is very thick, as I said. So um, it's a little bit like the Midori style, but you've got the bow at the back. Um, and you can decide not, if you don't want to have the string there, because there is the lovely stitching, you can put one hole there and one hole there, and you slide it through each of the holes and it, it's all inside, not outside, if that makes sense, like the Midori style. Okay, so let's put something here. And I think I'll just put a pretty, this washi tape, this one or that one. I've got a little piece here, I've got a little piece here ready, I might put it that way, put that there. And then I'm going to take one of these. Let's have a look. If you can hear a lot of chitter chatter, Lulu has her friends over. I'm just going to put 
put a little piece, random piece of tape on there like it's been repaired. You might even put it at sort of an angle like that. Just random, very random. Okay, and then we need to uh, put something here and I'm thinking, or a flower or a bird, that's that. Oh, I don't want to cover any of that. Quite like that I might leave that I might put a label there I could have a label one of these some sort of vertical label I think I think I want one that's bigger, but it will cover a little bit. Let's have a look. Did I ask you all how you are? I am. Um, I don't think I did. I'm a little bit sort of. I've done, been doing everything out of order today. So, and then I was going to do my video earlier, and then um, Lily's friend's mum came over. I don't know if I already told you that. Um. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite on the ball. Just see this one as well. I love these labels. No, let me use this one. Okay. Oh my goodness, and did it take me a minute to tidy up my mess after yesterday's session? And um, and then I thought as I was tidying up, oh, I should um, pull out. I should pull out, um, you know, what I think I might like to use next time. And, and I started to, <laughs> but I ended up pulling out so much stuff that I just... I, you know, like I was pulling out all of the folders. And so I was just like, this is ridiculous. So I think next time when I do my Medieval Mirage Monday, I might have to just, um, I might have to just sort of pull out some pages that I think I'll use that day rather than, you know, thinking, oh, this is what I'll use for the project. I'll just pull out what I want to use for the day. Oh, I've got this. This was, I made this a while ago. This was on the tracing paper, I think. Need to revisit that because that's quite a, a hard thing to do. I probably didn't need all of that. I'm going to cut it. I just wanted to add a little bit of something. I might put it that way. There. It's very sticky. You might have a little piece up here. Kind of feel like it goes with the envelope sort of thing and then I'm going to add some sort of pretty flower to my cover I think that's pretty I don't mind that one or oh, I might like a yellow one more oh isn't this aren't I lucky that Lulu cut all of these out we'll just pull out a few to audition for me one's too bright we want something a little bit paler tending towards the um sort of pale tones that we've got going on here so i could have that one no wrong color i could have that one i think that one's my favorite okay so let's get some glue on here hopefully i don't rip it with my vigorous gluing I think that's so pretty and that is it for my cover I don't think I'm going to put anything else cool and we've got that now I thought I might attach something to that but 
you actually could attach uh, some pages in there. Hmm. Just move all these things out of the way. And I have put everything away, so then it makes it tough, doesn't it? Could attach some pages in there. I love this. It's just one of those things you might like to just carry around with you. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'll put any pockets in it, but I might do, although I've done some collaging there already, I might do a little bit of collaging here and there. there I like that and then I don't think I'll have a label there would be pretty but I'm going to have that there or I'm going to bring it down here no I liked it up there okay Oh, I almost lost sight of how this all began. It began with Angie's Happy Mail to Rhonda. I almost forgot. Because I go off on a tangent and do my own thing. I love those colours on there. Um, I don't want to cover all of that up. I could have a little, I don't know. I said, oh, I said I wasn't going to add any pockets. So maybe not that. Okay, let's forget that for a minute. We've got that glued down there and I want to do something here. I have all these little pages in here. So, I mean, this could be just a cute little mini weekend away travel thing. Because I think if you print, if you have a sprocket or something like that and you print little photographs, they could fit in too. Um, I wanted to put little pages there. I'm just trying to... Oh, I know, I've got lots of things in here I might be able to use, just unless they're all big pieces. They're mostly big pieces. It's my, like, my little folder um, envelope thing that I have that has... Um, it has plain, plainer sort of pages in it. These are all good. I have found some. And, and you know, first pages from books. They're, I mean, even, they're even vintage. They're not all super old or anything like that. Some are old, but they're not all old. I just keep them for the different colours. Okay, we're going to put another little booklet in this. I guess it's kind of like, it's not meant to be, but it's kind of like um, Leslie from 507 Willow House Journals. A bit like her flippy floppy things that she does. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to organise these pages. So this page is actually a good height. So if I fold that there... And that one is okay. That one needs to be hinged. So I've got a wider piece here. It's a different book, you wouldn't know. And I'm just going to fold that. 
and hinge them. And that's how you deal with um, pages that you have that um, aren't the right size. If you don't want to, you know, I don't want to fold it that way. It's like a teeny tiny piece of paper. Then you just hinge them. And so then I put my glue, plenty of glue on there and I just put this on like so and then fold it down. And then I've got a nice bigger piece of paper. You might hinge. Now that's, I might tear that down just a little bit. I might tear it down to the height of this page. It's easier to hinge if they're a similar height. They don't have to be. You can just wing it. And then I'll just do my fold about there put some glue on there and hinge that to the so i fold the bigger piece of paper not the smaller piece of paper obviously i better have a few taller ones it's a nice old piece of paper Well, hand tearing up in the air is not working for me, but that's okay. We will survive, and I'm going to have a torn page in there. I'm just going to fold that there and glue that on here, like so. Oh, that could be even a little pocket. I'm going to glue it like that. So what I need to do is grab this glue. I've made a pocket. Before I stick it down, I'm going to grab my little punch and punch out my semicircle. We'll sort that out in a second and then I've got this page I will probably put that one in oh will I do it that no I'll put that one in like that and fold it back it's too big so I will I will take a bit off Is lovely so we'll use that see 1962 not that old but I did like it I do have a video showing I'm um, talking about um, how I choose which papers to keep and which papers I don't care for so much sort of thing and how I identify my page. I think I've got, I've linked all those useful sort of videos. They're permanently linked in the description box below the video. Um, I just thought they're good things to, to keep, you know, um, for people if they want to see why I do things, why I keep certain things and other things no, then that is the video to watch. Now I'm going to fold this out. I'm going to hopefully not lose it. Fold over this sticky piece of paper. some glue on there because I'm going to like I think I'm going to like the the look of that coming onto this piece of paper you can see they're not exactly the same size well you probably can't see because I'm probably off camera but I'll be on camera in a minute they're not the same size but it doesn't matter okay I've glued I kept that because I like that coming onto the page I'll take that bit off It's a good thing to do, you sit down, I must do this again, um, just to sort of sit down and do that with these um, sorts of pages. So that way um, you sort of have them there ready to go. 
we've done this before. So there's all my hinged pages. I've got a nice, I'm going to make a nice booklet here for writing, for taking notes. Let's see, I think I like that one the best. Put that one in there. And then we'll have uh, this one. Let's see. I won't put two straw papers together. I'll put that one up like that. And that one down there. And that one. I've got some pages there. So now, actually, I'm going to slide that one there and that one up there. Am I going to do that? And will they fit? They will fit in there. Okay. need to take that bit off because it was rolling around so I need to staple these in so I'm going to find the center yeah push it in there and I'm going to grab a paper clip because I want to staple it so um, actually, I'm going to have to hold it like this because I'll need to bend that over. Hopefully I can do it. I'll clip it there. But it needs to be in flush. So if I clip that, I need to slide them up a little bit. Just excuse me. There we go. I need to clip that in there. And that on here. Okay, so that's not going to reach in there, so I just fold it over carefully like that. Wait, I'm not going to put a crease in, I'm just going to squeeze it over. I could even put one in the middle. If I were really fussy, I could flip it around and have that, you know, the, the little teethy bits on the outside, but I'm not gonna worry about it because it's a very delicate business. Yep, this is wonderful. It's no stitch. We haven't done any stitching. Sometimes I don't feel like stitching, so I do like to try out other things. So that's that, you see? I love that. You could run an iron over that if you want to get those little creases out that have ended up in there. Oh, look how I stuck that one in. <laughs> I thought there was something weird. Well, that's cool. That's an accident. That's a happy accident. I was meant to staple that in, but that's all right. Something different. And then there's come over here. It won't be perfect. Well, yours might be perfect. I'm never perfect. And that's upside down. There you go. What did then something else is upside down? I can't, I didn't see anything else upside down. I thought, did you guys? Oh, it's glued there. That's why I stuck one in upside down. That. So we've got a nice little notebook there. And then we've got our notebook removable one there. And that's permanent, that one. And then it closes like that. And there's the little teeth. So I could, I could put a little bit of, I might put, oh, I think I might like a bit of this. I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape. Not on that one, I'll just put it on this one. Just here. And just fold it over. Oh, I love that. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have a little bit more of a think. I'm wondering whether I need to do any more on this or not. Um, or is it just there for someone else to do something with, have fun with? I don't know. Anyway, 
I think I'll end my video here just because um, it's very late and I won't get it uploaded in time. And um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.